Right, now tonight I want to concentrate on English conversation, the sort of things that you have to say during the course of every day, all right? For example, Ranjit, where would you take a check? Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Sort of check. <laughs> check for a certain amount of money. Where would you take it? To a bank. Thank you. Right. Juan. Yes, senor. If you felt ill, what would you do? Go to bed. <laughs> but before that? Uh, take it the clothes off. <laughs> you would go to the doctors? No, no doctor. Doctor kill my uncle in Madrid. <laughs> really? Gee, my uncle, he has pain in the chest. He goes see doctor. Doctor. He listen and say, so I. <laughs> Ten minutes later in the street, my uncle, <laughs> finito. You got a heart attack? Motocar. <laughs> well, you can hardly blame the doctor for that. Che, the doctor, he was driving the motor. Taro, I saw. Although weights are now metric in this country, we still use an old system, which is known as what? Sorry, not Noah. Does anybody know of the Noah? <laughs> avoir du poids. Excellent. Merci. Does avoir du poids ring a bell now, Taro? Yes, sir. Avoir du poids is French for have you some piso? Come on, Taro, I don't believe you're that stupid. Sorry. Just a juco. <laughs> Future, kindly leave your jokes at home. Right, Zoltan, I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, please. Which shop... Yes, shop, shop. Yeah, which shop would you go to to buy a packet of cigarettes? Cigarettes? Uh, no shop. Now, come on, Zoltan, you must go to some sort of shop. Zoltan, no smoke. <laughs> Zoltan, there you go for chewing gum. Ah! Mm. <laughs> Sweet shop. Sweet, sweet. Anna tells me sweet. Yeah, no, sweet, sweet. Sweet or sweet, what's the difference? Well, the difference is, Anna, that you must learn to say were and not the. Were. The were. You really got it, then. Try again. The were? Yeah, try saying voa without the ver. Owa. <laughs> Almost. Try again, but this time, d don't say owa, just were. Wa. Wa. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. A wet weekend in winter. Wet weekend in winter. Very good. Very good. <laughs> yes, please. Do you have a headache? Oh, no, sir. <laughs> Assume you have a headache. Where would you go to get some aspirin? Ah, tandoori takeaway. <laughs> no, um, Yes, please. My jolly good friend who is working there always had plenty aspirin. Mm. I meant to buy some aspirin. Why should I be buying them when I can be getting them from my friend? <laughs> nothing at all. All right. Where do you go for aspirin when the tandoori takeaway is closed? Oh, blimey. Taj Mahal curry house. <laughs> Camilla, would you please tell Ali where you go to get aspirin? Oh, my chemist. Thank you. Where are you going now? to buy some aspirin for headache. Well, I thought you said you hadn't got a headache. Oh, blimey, I got one now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Now, tonight, I want to concentrate on English conversation, the sort of things that you have to say during the course of every day, all right? For example, Ranjit, where would you take a check? Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Not that sort of check. <laughs> check for a certain amount of money, where would you take it? To a bank. Thank you. Right. Juan. Yes, senor. If you felt ill, what would you do? Go to bed. <laughs> But before that? Uh, take the clothes off. You would go to the doctors? No, no doctor. Doctor kill my uncle in Madrid. <laughs> really? Gee, my uncle, he has pain in the chest. He goes see doctor. Doctor, he listen and say, so I. <laughs> Ten minutes later in the street, my uncle, <laughs> finito. You got a heart attack? Motocar. <laughs> 
only blame the doctor for that. Gee, 